The idea of a marine protected area is to protect uh, the, the, the marine environment. To do this, we think it is absolutely necessary to, to involve local people. My name is Cecil Stephen McQueen. I'm a, I'm a teacher by profession, but I have been fishing all my life. If we look back at the history of Molinier Boucherjou, you realize many years ago this area was booming with marine life. And there is a need to protect those areas that are, that are under threat. The government has placed emphasis on protecting the environment and protecting uh, the marine life. We are working with three marine protected areas right now. The Sandy Island Oyster Bed Marine Protected Area in Karakou, the Molinier Bouchejo uh, Marine Protected Area, and the Woban Classical Bay Marine Protected Area. We want to protect the reef and the whole ecosystem so that the fishermen, the families, you know, the, the, the communities can benefit in the a, in a long term. My name is Luther Rennie. I'm the chairman of the Sandy Island Oyster Bend Marine Protected Area in Carrico. We, we think that having done the right things to protect the environment, um, it will attract uh, ecotourism. And we, we, we also thought that the people in the community should be the ones who are employed. In the three MPAs that we have now, USAID have been providing assistance for us. We are now conducting a training course for uh, the MPA wardens. We also have the mowing materials. The management plan will soon be completed. And then we have other communication materials. I would like to be uh, a warden for the Bushishu Moninier Marine Protected Area, mainly because I want to be a part of the process in trying to restore a partially lost marine ecosystems. As a scuba diver, we do more commercial uh, diving. But uh, in the training uh, for the marine protected areas, as a warden, I'm able to make that link between the direct impact that we ourselves cause. Now we've seen a lot of activities and, you know, uh, sort of renew vigor by everyone. And, uh, that couldn't be possible without the assistance from USA. And I would want my grandchildren, my great grand, my great great grand, to enjoy the coral reef. I would want them to be able to know what a leatherback thought would look like, what a hogsbill thought would look like in a natural environment.